Before we actually get into today's video, for those of you guys who are wondering about the M5, it is at SSR Performance, and they're gonna be working on it hopefully in about a week. So once it, you know, once they actually start working on it in about a week, they'll stop giving me some information. As soon as I get that information, I'll give it to you guys as well. But in the meantime, we are gonna be trying to work on both of the 135s, primarily the N54 one, to try to get it perfected. Because the N54 one is nearly perfect, but we need to perfect it. And at the same time, we need to get the pink slip for the car. So that is gonna be our primary goal for the next couple of days. And then I literally have a box of modifications from my girl's N55 one, the one that we're gonna be turning into a real 1M eventually. So I'm super excited about that. But yeah, as soon as I get some M5 news, you guys will be the first to know. Okay. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I got my boy Via and I got my boy Johnny over here. Um, basically gonna be working on the 135. So uh, we wanna do a full polish on this car. The car is an absolute, like the paint is, it's all there, the paint's there, but it has so many swirls and scratches and on the top's kinda like, it's kinda mm, not so good. So I kinda wanna polish the entire car, especially since the front bumper is painted and is brand new and polished. The rest of the car just looks filthy compared to the front bumper, as you guys know. So yes, let's go ahead, first things first, get down to uh, the DMV, just get VIN verification done so we can get that pink sent out to us. I've been trying to get the pink for the longest time. You guys know that the reason why this thing was sent off to the auction in the first place was because of all like the mods and everything. It wasn't able to pass smog. I got everything registered and everything, but fortunately we just have to do the VIN verification and we should be good. So let's head out, get this thing been verified and then come back and polish it. Come on, Josh, you think we're gonna make it, man? You think we're gonna make it? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I don't know. Get out the quads, we're gonna rest. Are you ready? Here we go. <laughs> <Let's try. laughs> Bro, this thing gets good MPG too. It does. 2.5. My truck is like 12. Oh man, I know. Pretty terrible. <laughs> just got here to the DMV, guys. So uh, I think it should be quick and easy. The last time I came here, I just told them I have just a VIN verification and they just VIN verified it. So right now, what time is it, Johnny? It is 2.51. All right, let's see how quick we can get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Well, it didn't take long, right? For them to decline us. 12 minutes. <laughs> 12 minutes for that. Like, I actually did decline us in like two minutes. She's honestly, the girl that was here is just so, so, so rude. She kept on telling me I need more supporting documents. This is what the dealership gave me. And I didn't have an issue doing this two other times, but apparently I need a pink slip, smog, everything to get. I mean, I, I gave it all to the DMV. The DMV, literally, all he's asking for is a VIN verification. They have the slip, but she doesn't want to fill it out. The other lady was nice. Yeah. She, was, she went to go get the document, but she was like, no, they're not going to do it. And I'm like, why? And then she's like, well, because you need the pink slip. And I'm like, well, I sent off the pink slip. To get registered. Pink slip. Oh my god, dude. She's just some people are like she's just a Karen. <laughs> like some people are oh. <laughs> guys, Johnson just just literally spotted a real 1M I, I right there. That's a real 1M. That, that is a real 1M, like dude. Real 1M oh my god, there. that looks so good, bro. It's green. Oh Here, my god. Let me see if I can record it. Oh. Let's see this. It's bro, that's a real 1M. That's a real 1M right oh there. Oh my god. Is that for sale? Yeah, oh my Get god. the name of the place, bro. It was Foreign Auto House. Oh my god. Auto House. Video Today's not gonna be a polishing video. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely don't think it's gonna be a polishing video today. <laughs> Guys, okay, I'm literally just trying to get things down. I just got a low coolant light. Oh yeah. Do this car, man. What is happening today? N54s, bro. Yeah. Anywho, as we're driving to another DMV to get this stuff sorted, um, we got a little coolant light. Low so, coolant light. and we saw a 1M on the way. So, and yeah, we saw a 1M. A so, real 1M. That's which is kind of crazy. Really rare, rare, actually. And we're in a 135 as we saw that. My girlie wants to cover hers to a 1M clone. It's gonna be a really cool build. I'm, I'm sure you guys gonna be excited for that. It is a lot of money to do that build though, so uh, I'll watch out for that. But in the meantime, looks like we gotta fix a coolant leak that's going on with this 135 right now. This car is problems on problems. N54s, bro. Bro, look at this lid. Oh my God, guys. Really good. He's Motorsports. Is, they haven't actually had it up for sale just yet, but they're going to be putting it up for sale pretty soon, guys. So if you guys want this slip, cop them while they still have it. This thing looks sick. so good. Dude. It actually looks really good. I don't know. Do you see anything? Nothing, actually. Why is it low then? Be careful, though, when you're opening it. Yeah, I know. You don't want a repeat of your face. My face being burned again? <laughs> slowly, slowly, slowly. Okay, just let it release yeah. all the pressure. It should be fine. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> No, I don't I'm, want to I'm burn standing my back. Face again, I'm standing back. Bro, it looks so good. It does look at look these good. wheels of the brake rotors and everything. Okay, yeah, is see, it leaking? No, don't touch it. Don't touch it. It's gonna. So guys, this actually was. Uh, wow, it's actually like, coolant is coming up. So a little while back, I actually had an issue where um, literally all the coolant came out on the ground. 
Oh, you see it's leaking on the bottom. I don't know if it's from the cap, what it is exactly. Oh yeah, it is leaking. But uh, all there. the coolant literally just dumped out. So what I think it is, I think it's, do you guys think it's the thermostat and water pump? I think it's a case of the thermostat and water pump again because literally as I'm driving, nothing. Nothing happens, so the temperatures are kind of really high up there. And then literally, dumps out so we're gonna have to chill here for a little bit wait for all the cool wait for the car to cool down and the thermostat water pump to cool down then fill it up with distilled water and then head on our journey and it'll be fine literally for like two three days and then i don't know it'll, it'll just leak all the water again so i ordered a new thermostat and water pump from fcp euro because we need that warranty and two coolant full coolant jugs but you hear that thing hissing bro it's literally bizarre dude it's still leaking it's actually leaking from that side well that's sizzling careful why is it coming up to the top? I've never seen that before, dude. Bro, but I remember is... with my 135, it got so hot to where the dude. cap blew off and coolant was everywhere in the engine bay. That's what happened to my, three, my, my 330i when the water pump went out. So yeah, we're chilling. You know, just a little BMW life. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we're I'm so, not, I'm not bro, tripping, the funny bro. thing is we're so, dude, <laughs> straight up, we're so nonchalant about this, we're just like sitting on the side of the road, literally, it's like spilling out, literally, right there, it's literally on the ground right there, and we're just sitting here like, yo, yeah, it is what it is, normal, no big deal, pay to play, <laughs> pay, pay to play, fam, <laughs> pay to play, dude, it's literally like, just, ah, uh, this is fun, this is fun, I have a new water pump with thermostat on the way, it's just like, it just sucks it has to happen right now, oh, dude, literally, it's 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 coming up on me. Hmm. Interesting. So much for this day. Yep. Well, this was supposed to be a pleasant day, not not a stressful day, and it's a stressful day we're, now. We were supposed to be detailing and polishing be detailing. Uh, the car, but it looks like we're not polishing or detailing the car. Look, like I brought this, bro. Oh, dude, that was a come up right there. Yeah, I knew I knew I should have brought this. So. I mean, yeah. <laughs> this this is a mess. Anyway, guys, we'll let this drain out. We'll come back to you in a little bit. The battery's dying. Bro, I think we just, we have a water fountain, bro. Holy. Oh my God, dude. I think the water pump actually failed this time, dude. Bro, I think it's, I think we're gonna have to tow it. Bro. All right, guys, so at this point, um, we put in more coolant. We start off the car and all the coolant came right back out. Oh, distilled water, but same thing pretty much. Um, so there is one way to test out to see if it's the water pump or something else that's freaking the car out. Uh, so, I mean, typically, I'm pretty sure it's a water pump, honestly. Yeah. Because uh, the way that it's coming all out, it looks like the water pump valve may be stuck closed or open. So, uh, a way to test it is to see if any coolant's being poured into the reservoir or it's literally just being pushed out. Um, so, again, we'll find out. Let's go ahead and put the key in the ignition, put it in accessory mode, and then uh, turn up the heat all the way up on both sides. Turn off all these other buttons and just put on the lowest setting. Once you're at that point, you can pretty much just hold on the gas pedal for about, I think, 10 seconds? Yeah, I think so. And then, uh, yeah, you should be able to hear the water pump working, and if you don't hear it working, it's broken. If you hear it working, just make sure it's uh, working properly. You should literally just cycle in all the fluids, not push it out. You should see water from this coming inside of it. Wait, don't, don't pour any yet. This is wait to see first. Well, I don't think there's any water in the system. There has to. Oh, there you go. There we go. Okay, so it's working. Huh. Dude, what the heck is wrong with this That's car? That's a little weird. Like, Bro, what I'm is... so confused. I'm really confused, too. Let me know down below, guys. I could really use your help on this. I am clueless. I did order a water pump and thermostat and coolant and everything, but uh, I'm wondering if it could be something that's going to be the radiator. I just don't think a radiator would do that, right? Oh. Oh. oh that's how it's supposed to be. It's literally spraying out, though. Yeah, that's what it did in the video. It looks like it's working though, like it's so weird. I don't understand, dude. Alright guys, we are at dealership number, I'm mean, not dealership, DMV number two. Pray for me, honestly, this is make this work. So far the car drove here, I mean, it's so weird, dude. I really don't know what's wrong with it's this weird. car. So it's some kind of cooling issue, but um, anyhow, we are at DMV number two. Pray for us guys, pray for us, they don't send us a CHP. That would suck. Honestly. Okay, let's go, let's go. So we are pulling up to DMV numero tres, I'm and uh, car, we're hoping uh, they're open because they look kind of closed, right? That's just uh, empty, bro. It's like pretty empty. I mean, let's just go to the back and try. Yeah, let's go to the DMV back and number see. Three. What is today? 
Today's Thursday. Maybe Thursdays are just not as packed. I just never seen a DMV this empty. Online it says they close at five, but typically they're packed at five, you know? I don't know how this works, guys. I guess we'll wait and we'll see if somebody comes out to help us. We are here before they closed. So we'll give it a shot. Yeah, let's try this. Hi right, guys, DMV number three. <laughs> no go. So they said they closed at 4.30. We literally just missed it. If we- 4.43. Rip. We missed it by 13 minutes. It is what it is. And uh, I think it's gonna have to pretty much conclude this video. Um, well, actually, I don't know. I really don't know. Like this is not like a, it's just one of those days that, you know, I kind of have to just show you guys that not, not everything is perfect. You know, we, we try our best. garbage, man. Literally, it's one of those days where... One of the, four things gone bad. Four things. Four things. It is what it is. You know, we tried our absolute best. And, you know, like some days, it's just not the greatest days. But, uh, anywho, I guess that will have to conclude the video. We couldn't register the car today. I mean, we tried. We absolutely tried. There was a Karen involved. And, uh, unfortunately, two DMVs, they closed on us. So it is what it is. Hopefully, and hopefully yeah, in the, the next coolant, video, the coolant crap. Too. Oh, yeah. oh, if that didn't do that, we would have had time to come here. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, everything happens for a reason, though. Everything happens for a reason because sometimes when you take cars of VIN verification, they some people are even meaner and they start the VIN verification, but then they send you to CHP and you have to wait three months to get your title. It's so garbage. It's so dude. garbage. So some so people garbage. are literally like that. Like it, it really depends about the person you get, honestly. I mean, this car has everything that's good. Everything is perfect. Again, this car wasn't even an accident. As you guys know, it was pretty much solid when we got it from the auction. But you know, some people just, just try to find issues and they just try to pretend like they're, they're I don't know. I'm not, I'm not gonna stop being mean. You know, everything's great in the Navy. Again, everything happens for a reason in life. God bless, we're in a car, no accident. We're happy, we're alive. We're good. We're good. So that's gonna pretty much conclude this video, guys. But hopefully in the next video, we'll polish your car, get the car ready, uh, but yeah, it's just one of those days. But without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have words.